All right, guys, it's review day, and AEW Dynamite, let me tell you, so right off the bat, the best friends are reunited, they're back, and they're looking to pick a fight with Pac and Penta and Ray Phoenix, so, you know, that's going to be fucking good. And just because of, like I said, wrestling logic, in order to explain Chris Statlander, they just said, oh, yeah, by the way, we're with an alien now. So that's the greatest excuse I've ever heard in the world. So I'm using that from now on. Jericho, well, the inner circle, the entire inner circle's back. They were smiling, so that means they're good guys now. Uh, Jericho has a beard, and Jesus, what a beard. What a hunk, eh? God, Jericho, good for you, man. Move over, fucking Taylor Lautner, because Y2J's back, baby. And um, if you remember what I said a few episodes back... Well, if you didn't believe it before, you should start believing it now. Uh, the Blood and Guts match just got announced. Hey, remember when I called that? That's right. Kyle, the spoiler more, and he's, uh, he's for real, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not just on this show for my fucking pretty looks, all right? Okay, so now we have the fucking dinosaur bear match, or the Jurassic Park bear country match, and it was as you expected it to be. It was a fucking dinosaur, and he wrestled some bears. It's fantastic. And then... We had uh, QT Marshall come out, well not come out, but they showed him in the Nightmare Factory, which is actually <clears throat> what I call my bedroom. <clears throat> I'm kidding, I don't sleep ever because I do drugs, no I'm kidding. Um, so yeah, he named off all the members of his group and then, you know, threw some paint on the wall. It was weird. Uh, Darby Allen wrestled Kevin Owens, or Kevin Owens' little brother. And in his corner, he was accompanied by fucking, he looked like Dollar Store Dolph Ziggler. Um, Dolph's little brother, or older brother, I don't know, I don't care. But, uh, yeah, anyway, Dollar Store Dolph got uh, chased off by Sting, and then he got jumped, and a whole bunch of shenanigans happened after that. It was it was a mess, as always. There's too many factions. It's fucking annoying. So, at this point, they cut to an interview where Jericho is talking about the Blood and Guts match, which I called last week, and then he gets jumped by the pinnacle. So then you find out that while they're beating their shit out of Jericho, they actually locked the inner circle in their dressing room. But then wait a second, who the hell's coming out to save him? Oh my god, it's fucking Mike Tyson. Because why not? The last time we saw Mike Tyson, they were about to fight each other. But now they're like, oh my god, I'm fucking Tyson. I'm Jericho's best friend. Yeah. It was the weirdest shit ever. I don't know. Anyways, so next week we're going to have um, him be an enforcer for Jericho versus Pinnacle. I believe uh, I believe it was Sean Spears, but if I'm wrong, then whatever. This is my show, not yours. Deal with it. But yeah, who decide, Who would book a fucking... Oh yeah, Mike Tyson just came back and beat the hell out of Sean Spears in the ring. And by the way, he threw... I think he threw more punches on Sean Spears than he did that entire Roy Jones fight. But anyways, he's going to be the enforcer for the Jericho match. And what? why? How is he impartial? I, I don't get it. But... Um, then we got the bunny versus Tay Conte, and I gotta tell you, the bunny, he pulls off that crazy shtick, I tell you. I tell you what. Great match. Tay Conte wins. It's fantastic overall. So then we got John Moxley and the Young Bucks, and they went against, well, basically the Bullet Club. Well, fucking, why wouldn't we call it the Bullet Club? Anyways, uh, Kenny Omega and the Good Brothers. Tony Schiavone's like, John Moxley's on his own time as he wanders in from the fucking parking lot. Just basically like, oh, hey guys, don't worry, we just hired this crazy guy who just attacks people. Anyways, he fucking wanders in from the parking lot, gets in the ring, Young Bucks come out, they're doing their fucking thing. And then, I, I couldn't believe that the Young Bucks were actually gonna wrestle their best friend. Like, I would never wrestle my best friend, I'll tell you that right now. Never catch me fighting. I wouldn't even give a crossed word to my best friend. That's how good of a person I am. So then that match goes through, and then towards the end, you're gonna see Kenny Omega get the V-trigger from the Young Bucks, and they won't do it. They can't do it because it's his best friend. So John Moxley gets in and gives him like fucking three paradigm shifts, but then the Young Bucks, because like I've been saying forever, they're horrible people, they kicked him in the fucking face and then they just jumped him. So John Moxley is dead now, so rest in peace to him. And yeah, so the Young Bucks and Bullet Club back together. And that's it, folks. And we'll see you for the spoiler alert for fucking WrestleMania this weekend. And we'll see you there, folks. So see you later.